All right, welcome back. We are on level six of lesson four, and it looks like we've got some fun happening here. So randomization. All right, and this is why we have our random numbers PDF. So we're gonna take a look at that in a second. It says moving on the first click is fine, but the smiley would be even cooler if it moved somewhere new every time we clicked. Fortunately, we can use the random number block to do just that. So do this, edit your code so it uses the random number block inside the set property blocks for the X and Y properties. Change the start and end values of random numbers so the smiley will jump all across the whole screen. Tip, the app lab screen is 320 pixels wide by 450 pixels tall. All right, so before we, uh, before we jump into this, um, let's go take a look at random numbers. So random numbers, we're using random numbers. The random number block can be used to generate random numbers in your programs. The parameters set the minimum and maximum value that can be generated. You can use this block anywhere that you could write a number. So random one comma six. This example is like a die that could randomly generate any number from one to six. All right, so drawing and random numbers. You can use random number as a parameter in drawing commands to make random drawings. With the following command, your program might generate different drawings each time it's run. So, ellipse, random number, 0, 400, 200. So this is saying that this first number could go anywhere from 0 all the way to 400. And that it would be random each time you draw it. All right? Uh, if you use random number multiple times in your program, it will generate new random numbers every time. You can think of each random number like a new roll of a die. So ellipse, random number, 0, 400, random number, 0, 400. So now, see this one? This is the X, so this is the horizontal. So each time you click on it, it's going to go from here to here, and it's going to be somewhere on this line. But with this one, because they're both random, it could be here, 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 it could be here. You get the point. All right. Okay. So let's go play with some uh, randomization. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to slide it into here. And so right now it's saying X equals something between one and 10. So if I run this and I go click, 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 click. So it's going to pick a number for the X somewhere between one and 10. All right, um, and it's not changing the Y because we said that the Y is 180. So what we wanna do is we wanna change this to, let's reset it. X could go all the way up to 320. So we're gonna say 320, all right? And then we're gonna bring this one in here and then this one could go down to 450. So we're gonna go one between one and 450. All right, we're gonna press run. Now this is where it gets interesting. Let's see if we can chase this down. Click, uh-oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's okay, so we're gonna reset because it went off the screen and I don't like that. So we're gonna say this is 300 and this is 400. All right, so we're gonna run again. Click, there we go, click, click. So every time I click it, it's randomly choosing a number between one and 300 for the X and then between one and 400 for the Y. And so every time we click, random numbers get put in there and then the smiley face gets to that point. So there we go. We did what we were supposed to do for this. We're gonna click the orange finish button and continue and I will see you on level seven. Here we go.